Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hi everyone. Uh, this is going to be a continuation video for an Azure storage. So if you see in the previous video, we have uh, explained you how to create a storage account. So in this video, I'm going to explain how we can create a blob storage and a file storage inside a storage account. So let's go into the portal.azure.com. So I'm here in the uh, portal.azure.com and if you remember right in the previous video we have created a storage account. It's a, a general purpose V2 account and it is in the East US location. Right. So I'm going to create a container. A container is to store your unstructured data. So your unstructured data like image, text or your application blog or you can go and uh, save it into a container so let me create a brand new container here and name it as container one and if you see by default the access level is private there is no anonymous access so you can change that into a read access in the blob level or in the container level if you are going to give a read access into the container level what are all the blob you are going to be create inside the container you can uh, access all the blobs inside the container so let me go and uh, keep that as in the blob level so it's going to be give a warning i'm okay with that i'm just going to create this container so my container is been ready to use and i'm just going and upload a blob into this container so let me upload a blob so in my case i'm just going to upload an image into this container let me select this image and go into the advanced option so if you see in the advanced option you we have a type of block what's the type of block so we have a three type over there there is a blob block cage block and an append block a, a block block is for your unstructured data like image text and a page block if you see here the microsoft recommendation is for the vhd file a vhd file is nothing but a virtual hard disk so if you want to upload a vhd file you can go and select the page block and append block is nothing but if you want to append something into your blob like an application log then you can go and select an append block and if you see here my access tire is there so when we are creating the storage account we discuss about the hot and cool but we don't see the archive over there so the archive option is only be there in the blob level not in the storage account level so let me go and upload this uh, blob into this container if you see here my blob is being uh, uploaded successfully so let me go into inside this uh, blob so if you see here uh, it provide me an url to access this uh, blob and it's give me the last modified date and create time so let me copy this URL and put it into a notepad. So if you see that uh, we enable a HTTPS when we are creating our uh, uh, storage account. So it's a HTTPS uh, protocol URL followed by your account name, storage account name. If you remember the storage account name is whatever we given is a storage account followed by a random number. And if you see that it's a blob storage, what is the type of the storage? and followed by the container and the blob name so if you want to provide a, a generate a sas uh, uh, in, this is a very granular way of giving an access to someone or an application so uh, so you can generate a sas token for that actually if you want to uh, go and what kind of permission you want to give for that sas you can go and select a read create write and a delete permission what kind of permission and if you want to set an ip address what's the range of ip address you want to allow to access this uh, uh, blob then you can set it on here yeah so all right so that's all about the blob and let's go and explore the container now so sorry the files file share now So Azure file offer fully managed file share in the cloud uh, that can be accessible by, uh, by an SMP. An SMP is nothing but a, serv a server message block protocol. 
so it can be go and uh, mount into your on premises uh, uh, in a windows or linux or a mac mac os so uh, a typical use case is if you want to go and lift and shift your on premises application into your cloud then you can go and use this file share uh, so you can mount this uh, file share into your on premises or your local computer and whatever is sitting in this uh, file share is going to be accessible in the cloud so let's go and uh, see this uh, create a file share so i'm going to create a new brand new file share here so i'm just going to name this as a file share one and i'm going to set the quota limit what is my storage limit i'm just going to be a create a 5 gb one i'm going to create this file share so if you see my file share is being created successfully so let me go and upload and uh, um, the same image into this uh, 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 file share as well so uh, let me go and upload this uh, image okay so it's being let's overwrite this image so if you see that uh, my image is being successfully uploaded into the file share so let me go and connect this uh, file share into my local uh, machine. So for that actually, if you see here, uh, Microsoft provides some command uh, to uh, connect this uh, file share into your local machine in Windows, Linux, or in a Mac. So in my case, I, it's a, I'm using a Windows machine. So I'm going to copy this uh, command let, and let me open a PowerShell to execute this command. So I'm here in my uh, local machine uh, PowerShell. I'm going to execute this command line. So the commands are not copied properly. Let me clear this and fix it again. So let me execute this command properly. So if you see now the command has been executed successfully so let me go into my uh, local drive and see whether uh, that uh, uh, the file share is mounted into my local drive or not so if you see here the file share is being mounted over here so if i open my file share i can go and see my uh, file which is i uploaded in the cloud so let me go and create a text file over here and let's see whether it's been reflecting in the cloud so let me go and create a text document over there so let me name it as a test file and let's save it and meanwhile i'll uh, go into the my portal.show.com so let's go into the file share and we are in the file share one so let's refresh this page so if you see my test file is been reflecting here so i can even go and access this uh, text file using an url so let's see what's there in this url so if you see here uh, it's a same um, url uh, it's a uh, storage account and what is the type of the storage account if you see in the previous case it's a blob and now it is a file and what is the your file share name and your file share uh, file share path and file share name so that's all about uh, this blob and file share so uh, we'll discuss uh, more azure service in the upcoming video thank you